Amen. Well, good morning, Redeemer. Uh, yeah, my name is Pastor Alex. Uh, I get to help out and as one of the associate pastors. And as Garrett said, this morning we get to celebrate a baptism, which is awesome. And so here at Redeemer, uh, we believe that baptism is a public declaration of faith. And so there's nothing uh, in this water that's going to save anyone. Um, but instead, when someone's getting baptized, what they are saying is that I stand with Christ and I believe in him, and he's my Lord and Savior. And it's a symbol, we believe, of Christ's death, his burial as they go in the water, and then his resurrection as they come into newness of life. And so this is an awesome opportunity for us as believers to be reminded, uh, even of our own faith, but it's an even better opportunity for us to see someone publicly declare that they love Jesus Christ. And so you guys can join me as we welcome Ben Peterson. <laughs> Everybody. So, Ben, we are ex-roommates. Yes. <laughs> uh, you were stolen away uh, by something better. Yes. Which is marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on to bigger and better things, man. Uh, seriously, but it is a privilege to be here with you, man. And so, mm -hmm. I just want to start out by asking, for you, uh, what was life like before you came to know Jesus Christ? Yeah, so I, uh, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, where my parents, um, they spent a lot of time uh, teaching me the faith. Um, and so actually, I don't really remember a time uh, before I was, I was saved. Um, but I'll tell you, it was probably a piece of work. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so there's probably definitely some sin, rebellion. Yes. Uh, yes. If your parents were here, I'm sure they'd attest. Um, but tell me more then, what did it look like for you to come to know Jesus as your Savior? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... Um, so growing up, like I said, my parents, um, they dedicated a lot. Um, they took me to Sundays, um, Sunday church, heard the gospel preached almost every Sunday. Um, they sacrificed a lot for me to go to Rockford Christian schools where I just had so many teachers um, just pour into me. Um, there's actually probably a couple out there right now. Um, shout out to you. Um, but, um, but yeah, just um, so many people in my life have just poured poured into me, and um, through that, um, through that experience, I've just been, um, just realized my own sin um, hmm. and my depravity, and um, realized that I needed a Savior. Um, yeah. There's nothing like I could do to, Amen. Uh, to save myself, so, um, so yeah, so I came to Christ through okay. that. Well, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming to know Jesus, you were raised in a family where you're just hearing the gospel again and again and again. What did life look like after coming to place your faith in Jesus Christ? What does it look like in light of the gospel? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, like I said, um, I accepted Christ at a young age. Um, it's not been, you know, perfect since then. I've definitely gone through um, just seasons of sin. Um, you know, uh, even just, like, recently, just, like, thinking of, like, careers and, like, going through college and, like, um, having I just different idols and stuff. Um, in my life um, that I've had to overcome uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit. And, um, so it's not been all, all perfect, but, um, but I know that his grace is sufficient and, uh, and I have been forgiven. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's, it's crazy to look back at my life now and just, um, just be able to see what, uh, what he's done for me. Um, it's like looking back, it's it's impossible, impossible for me not to see um, Christ's hand in it all, um, even just mm -hmm. bringing me to this church and um, just getting to be surrounded um, by so many uh, just God-honoring people like yourself, um, and, then, uh, and then coming, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, then, uh, and then even just, um, I, got to, I got to meet my wife here, and mm, um, amen, yes, and so... Um, he's just grown me in just so many ways, um, uh, and I've just grown so much in, in my love um, for him, and he's continue, continued to help me identify sin and kill it in my mm -hmm. life, and um, so yeah. Dude, amen and amen. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so I got, I got one last question for you. Why is it that you want to be baptized today? I want to publicly declare that I'm following Christ, and I want to show that I'm dead to my sin and alive in Christ. Amen. All right, well, let's do this thing. Okay. Ben, 
Based upon your profession of faith, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.